Greetings from Tucson, Arizona. And I'm going to be sharing some of the best things to do, eat, and see in this beautiful town. There's going to be lots of cactus, historic areas, and food, of course. <laughs> so if you've never been to Tucson, Arizona, and are looking for some of the best things to do, eat, and see in a long weekend, then follow along and let's get started. So the first thing we're doing to kick off our first day is going to the Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum. There is an entrance fee of I think $24.95 a person, but if you want to learn more about the Sonoran Desert, this is where you need to be. The Arizona Sonora Desert Museum is ranked as TripAdvisor's top 10 museums in the country and top 10 in the world. It's the number one attraction to see in Tucson. Unlike most museums, 85% of the experience is outdoors. It's a natural history museum, botanical garden, and zoo all in one place. It has two miles of walking paths through various desert habitats and over 240 different animal species. So if you're looking to learn more about desert plants, reptiles, animals, this is where you need to be. It's pretty cool. <sighs> we pretty much spent our entire morning here. We got here a little after nine and it's almost noon. So it definitely takes up a good morning, but it was so worth it. Highly recommend. There's just so much to do and see there. It's great. All right, you guys, so we are back in downtown Tucson and we are going to check out all these historic areas in the downtown area. So we are literally right next to the convention center right now, just south of it in the Barrio District. This is some of the oldest, most historic neighborhoods in Tucson. The Barrio District is nearly 20 blocks of Sonoran style architecture comprised of thick walled, original adobe style houses painted in yellows, reds, purples, and other vibrant colors. The area really gives you a feel of a Mexican village. This area is mixed of office spaces, art studios, restaurants, and homes, making it one of the most diverse neighborhoods in Tucson. All right, so just like down and around the corner from the Barrio district is a beautiful old cathedral, St. Augustine Cathedral. So now we left the convention center area to see the cathedral and the barrio district and now we're on 4th avenue which is like the main downtown strip of tucson it's so cool and don't forget to stop at the welcome to tucson sign <laughs> we found our new margarita glasses these are so cute cheers cheers wanted a dream catcher like this so they have them here this is a great little shop this is the coolest store right, our first souvenirs our margarita glasses and our drink pressure. Still in search of possibly a coffee cup with a suara on it. So we'll see. All right, there's the drink catcher. Find it in the Jeep for now. It is time to eat. We are at El Giro Canelo. I'm bad at Spanish. <laughs> so one thing we really wanted to try was a Sonoran hot dog. So here they are. They look really, really good. And then we got a beef taco. So never had these, always heard about them, had to try them. <laughs> and this is the original Sonoran hot dog restaurant. All right, this is a big hot dog. <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> ready? You're ready. All right. <laughs> mm. There's two. There's two. Try it, you're in the snoring desert. <laughs>
All right, we just went back to our hotel quick. Vince wanted to change into some shorts and we just needed to grab a few things. Um, so I guess this is a good time to tell you where we're staying here in Tucson. We are staying at Hotel Tucson City Center, which is located in the El Presidito district, just up the main interstate. It has a beautiful pool courtyard with palm trees, orange trees, and great seating areas. The room was nice with all the basic amenities. So we really enjoyed our stay and would give it a solid three and a half to four star rating. We are visiting Tucson at the end of February. And it is 60 and sunny today. The palm trees. It's a tad bit too cool to go in the pool, so we might have to save that for another day. All right, you guys, so we are getting in a sunset view tonight. So right behind me, you probably see a really big A. That's because we are climbing A Mountain, AKA Centennial Peak. Beautiful views here of Tucson from the top of this mountain. There is your Tucson views of the city from this peak. Over here's the A. You can see this A from the city if you look to the west. It's beautiful. sunset hour. It's a popular spot for sunsets. <laughs> so that's a wrap here on day one. Um, we are going to head back to our hotel and get ready for bed even though it's pretty early but we're getting up pretty early tomorrow. Tomorrow we're heading outside of Tucson. So excited for tomorrow. It is day two. Look what's right behind us. The Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. So this drive is about two and a half hours almost to get out here from Tucson. Very interesting drive, beautiful desert, and you go through border control. <laughs> There's a border control checkpoint because you're kind of running parallel to Mexico. And Oregon Pipe is located on the Mexico border. So we've never been here. We're excited to check this out to see some Oregon Pipe. And that right there is an Oregon Pipe cactus. So because this is a national monument, it is part of the National Park Service. So if you have the America the Beautiful Pass, you can get free entry here. So we're at the visitor center right now and we're I think like five miles from the Mexico border. <laughs> and our phone, Mexico International Travel Pass, just it's gonna download alerted the us. National Park app to, <laughs> like to have a commentary. And it's like, <laughs> use your $5 international pass now or whatever it was i don't know so i think we might have just paid five dollars even though we're not in mexico so just a heads up here's some oregon pipe cactus that's what these are and then you'll see them mixed with the swaros so here's the difference between the two if you're not familiar with cactus actually right here is a perfect example you got a saguaro this tall one and the oregon pipe cactus right next to each other and then you got the fuzzy little cactus these are the cola cactus. And I realized I was pronouncing it wrong. It's chala cactus, not cola cactus. They're beautiful. They're so fuzzy. They look so soft and fuzzy, but they're extremely prickly. So be careful. <laughs> this is a prickly pear cactus. You're getting on all the cactuses here. I think that's like a thorn bush or something cactus. Or brittle bush, maybe? I think that's pretty cool. Have you ever seen a dead cactus? This is a cactus and it turns into wood. Isn't that something? People make furniture and stuff out of this cactus wood. Interesting. There's just something about the cactus. I just love them. They're so pretty and so different. Orkin Pipe Cactus National Monument is also a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve located in the Sonoran Desert. The park is the only place in the United States where the Oregon Pipe Cactus grow wild. It's named Oregon Pipe Cactus because its branches resemble organ pipes. 26 species of cactus have mastered the art of living in this place, and I can agree. There's definitely a thriving community of plants and animals at Oregon Pipe National Monument. Now we crossed the main highway and we are on the Ajo Mountain Road here in Oregon Pipe. We are gonna go do a quick hike to an arch. So just a heads up, all the roads in the park are gravel, pretty rocky, bumpy, and especially on this one, this Ajo Mountain uh, Road. The rangers did say that a high clearance vehicle is recommended. So yeah, I'm glad we're in our Jeep and not a small car. <laughs> but this road is really, really pretty. It's surrounded by the cactus and there's some mountains 
deeper we're getting here, um, the more of the Oregon Pied Cactus we're seeing. All on this mountain here is just all Oregon Pied Cactus. How beautiful. If you're here in Oregon Pied, I really recommend if you're able to and your vehicle allows to do this loop drive. It's, um, I think, 21 miles and it's a one way, so it's a loop. It's gorgeous. All right, we finally got here on our hike. So we are doing the Arch Canyon hike. Um, it's like a mile and a half round trip, and I actually see the arch right in front of me. You could see it from the road here once you kind of got back here. So, it's a beautiful day for just a quick little hike. So, see it way up top up there is the arch, and you can climb up to the arch. We're not doing that. We're just gonna hike here a little bit and get some exercise. trail we're deep into the canyon keep going all the way to the arch um, we're not gonna do that because I think it's like another good mile and straight elevation up <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty nice little nice little hike some beautiful views of the canyon here all right so we just found a little pull off here on the loop that we're on um, we're just gonna have a quick little lunch here. We have like our cooler with with some like sandwich meat and stuff. So um, because we're kind of uh, in the middle of nowhere-ish, <laughs> there's not a lot of like food options out here. And I found my perfect Solaro cactus it's right in front of me. It's like your stereotypical perfect Solaro cactus. Check this out. There it is. I found it. <laughs> Is that not the most perfect Swirl cactus that you see everywhere? <laughs> All right, since our beautiful Swirl cactus that I found is right here by our lunch spot, <laughs> we're gonna have lunch next to him. He is a beaut. <laughs> so we are wrapping up our time here at Oregon Pipe National Monument. Absolutely gorgeous. Like these drives here and all the views and the cactus and the mountains and everything. Hands down, one of the prettiest areas we have ever seen for the Sonora Desert. So because we're only five miles from Mexico, we're gonna drive down to Lukeville, which is the border crossing here. And I'm just gonna look at it from a distance. <laughs> we've been to Mexico many, many times, but we've always flown to Mexico. I've never been this close to Mexico on land. No, so, pass, no passports today. Yeah, we don't even have our passports with, so <laughs> we can't even try. Um, but I thought it'd be really cool to like see what it looks like uh, because there's so many border control uh, people running around all over, like the trucks are everywhere. Um, we saw it from Tucson over to Oregon Pipe and yeah, it's been nonstop. It was a lot of signs <laughs> everywhere saying, you know, smuggling, all the things is illegal. So we're gonna go check it out. We see the wall. Wait, this is crazy. We're seeing the wall between Mexico and the USA. There it is, you guys. Mexico. <laughs> and the wall right there. So apparently, if you go to Mexico, you have to get Mexico insurance. So you can buy it right here at the gas station. Now you know. Vince is getting gas. I see the Mexico sign. And the wall. Look at that. That's crazy. Old pedestrian. There's the wall, you guys. We've seen the wall. Ready for you guys. <laughs> really? Wow. I feel like I'm in Mexico airport. Mexico's right there. We're parked right here. We're so close. Well, that was super awesome to see that. We've never seen that. So, um, if you're at Oregon Pipe, I highly recommend just driving down there. There's a restaurant, there's a grocery store, liquor store, as you saw. Nice, uh, lots of counterfeit Tommy Hilfiger and uh, all the things, you know, Mexico things going on. <laughs> but it's all duty free, even though it's technically on the US side. There's but... $6 Tecate 12 pence. <laughs> he was looking at the beer Tecate. <laughs> I don't like Tecate. So, anyways, um, that was kind of a neat experience. So, um, check it out. It's fine. Nothing will happen to you because you're in the U.S. Everything's fine. So, all right, time to head back to Tucson. Right, we are at our spa for dinner, Broly's Mexican Patio. Such a cute place. It's 
it's BYOB, so they don't serve alcohol, but you can bring your own in. So Vince brought one of his beers in. I'm just sticking with Dr. Pepper from the fountain. <laughs> Here it is. We got the family stick. Family pack, okay. For a family. And what is all this? So we got tacos. Three potato rollies, three chicken rollies, tacos, and fries, quesadilla, rice, and beans. Wow, that's awesome. Queso. Queso, yes. This looks so good. Rollies. That's really good. I love the queso. <laughs> These are amazing. Okay, rollies. That was good. That was legit. <laughs> that was some of the best rice and beans I've ever had. That was amazing. Everything. The quesadillas were like the cheesiest quesadillas. The fries were even good. The fries were even good we're for like fries. fries. They were like the best fries ever. So, wow. Six out of five. Like, it was amazing. Mm. Definitely go there. Set news from our patio tonight. So thank you guys for watching day number two. Um, that is a wrap. We're tired. We're gonna call it a day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for more fun here in Tucson. Good morning, you guys. It is day three of our time here in Tucson, and right behind me, you probably see a church. <laughs> so we're kicking our day off by just coming to see the San Javier. Uh, church here. It's a very historic church here in Tucson and we figured we'd pay a visit quick this morning to see it. Now, they are working on it. There is some construction going on. You don't get the full effect, but you get enough of effect to see how beautiful this church really is. All right, so as you can see, it almost looks like they're giving it some fresh paint. The right side here is much wider. The left side must be the uh, older color. But wow, this architecture is beautiful. is the Pima Air and Space Museum. So this is something hubby requested and we have been to an Air and Space Museum before that we did the Smithsonian one in Washington DC and it was really actually very interesting. And I heard the one here in Tucson is really good too. We got a little preview as we were driving in. A lot of planes going on here so we're excited to check this out. The Pima Air and Space Museum is one of the largest aviation and space museums in the world. The museum features a display of nearly 400 historic aircrafts spread out over 80 acres, six indoor exhibit hangars, three of which are dedicated to World War II. The displays cover the entire history of aviation from the Wright Flyer up to current military and civilian aircraft. Tickets were $18.50 per person. To see everything, you should plan to spend a full day here because there's so much interesting history to read. We ended up spending our entire morning there, about two and a half hours, but you can easily spend way more time here. So walking around here is kind of giving me the chills because the Ukraine-Russian war just started like two days ago and there's so much military U.S. Air Force planes and missiles and war photos and I don't know I'm it's kind of sad I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this but I'm getting really really weird vibes being here right now as the war just started. <laughs> It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just real weird vibes for me right now. Oh my god. They fly in this. <laughs> so we're sitting in this plane right now. And it's creaking and cracking and... I don't know if I feel safe flying in these planes. <laughs> but they're made out of metal and I'm sure they're stable. <laughs> All right, that is a wrap here at the Air and Space Museum. This was really cool, you guys. So I, I remember when we did the one in DC, the Smithsonian, I actually really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed this one too. Um, but it's fascinating and so much history and so much to learn about all this. So highly recommend if you're in Tucson. Really, really All right, awesome. you guys, so we are getting to our next spot. We actually are walking here right from our hotel. It is the Old Town Artisans area. 
has lots of really cool old art shopping areas. Now, we are not one for shopping when we travel. We just, we aren't ones to purchase a bunch of touristy stuff. But the stuff here in Tucson is so unique. <laughs> and I still want that Swirl coffee cup, so that's what I'm looking for today. <laughs> here it is, look at this building. Very Pablo looking. Old Town Artisans is located in 150 year old adobe building with six different shops and galleries and a Spanish style courtyard and patio that offers food and live music. Right down the road is the Tucson Memorial Gardens. So look at this beautiful gardens and building. So this is the Pima County Courthouse here. It's beautiful. Reminds me of the church this morning. All the unique details. Well, I didn't find my Saguaro coffee cup, but that's okay. Really cute, really cute area. As we're walking back to our hotel, there is some beautiful architecture, yards. Look at this yard, it's like a dream yard here. <laughs> wow. All right, it is lunchtime. We had two restaurants we were looking to go between, and both of them have hour and a half waits. It's Sunday afternoon, <laughs> and we don't have time to be waiting that long for food. So this is where we're gonna go, this Taco Giro, because it was close, and I hope there's not a really long wait. <laughs> it looks so good. That red margarita is amazing. We've already eaten all our chips and salsa. This was legit some of the best salsa I've ever had in my life. Vince got a Dos Equis. It's looking good. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. We got a plate of fajitas to share. So we got shrimp, steak, and chicken. And then it came with rice and beans. We got a side enchilada. Oh my gosh. This is like crazy food. All right, fajita number one. And this enchilada is like the best enchilada I've ever had in my life. Rice and beans. Our bomb. Pizza. Sometimes things just work out how they're supposed to. <laughs> That was our plan, but that was the best Mexican food we have had, I don't know, in a very, Probably very, ever, ever yeah. maybe it could have been like the best. It was the best, the best salsa, the best fajitas, I mean, the enchilada, like everything was amazing. The margarita, the beer, it was so good. So go there if you're looking for some good Mexican. All right, you guys, so it is our last and final stop here on our three days in Tucson. We are in Saguaro National Park. Now we have been here before and we fell in love. This is kind of like what made us fall in love with Tucson so much. Are all the saguaro cactuses and all the succulents. Like all of Tucson, we just love this area. Um, but it was this park that really made us fall in love with the whole area. So we're excited to be back here. We're gonna do the drive through, do a little exploring and experience it again. So very similar to Oregon Pipe. Lots and lots and lots of cactus. <laughs> Look at these hills, they're so pretty. So this is just right out of Tucson. So if you don't want to make the drive all the way to Oregon Pipe National Monument, you absolutely don't have to, you can definitely come here. But Saguaro has some amazing views, the cactus, the scenery, all the things here are excellent so highly recommend we are currently on the nature walk which is just a nice little loop right off the main road here and it just kind of brings you in and out of all the swaros um, the only thing is they don't have the Oregon pipe cactus which depends what Oregon pipe national monument where we were yesterday but um, it's beautiful here it's beautiful it's also a beautiful spot to see a sunset on the last sunset before we end our time here. So we are at Gates Pass Trailhead, which is just off of the Gates Pass Road, which is just right outside of Saguaro National Park. Beautiful area for our sunset. All right, you guys, and that is a wrap here on our three-day little weekend getaway in Tucson. 
Tucson, Arizona. So I hope you found this vlog interesting and gave you some inspiration on some of the best things to do, eat, and see here. And of course, there's so many more things you can do here in Tucson. This is just scratching the surface. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, of course, comment below. Tomorrow we're getting up bright and early because we are headed to New Mexico to see the White Sand Dunes National Park. So we're excited to check that one off the list. We've never been there. If you're interested in that National Park too and you've never been, Stay tuned for that vlog because that will be next. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.